need my shower. Ooh, we're trying to save energy. Showers cost a lot of energy, you know. Unfortunately, they're right. Most people are concerned about how much water they use when they shower. Showers account for 18% of the water you use in your house and is the third largest use of water after washing your clothes and flushing your toilet. To put this in perspective, we took a poll of UM students and found that the average UM student showers for 13.5 minutes per shower, 1.13 times a day, which is about 8 times per week. If you multiply that by the flow rate of the average shower head, which is 2.5 gallons per minute, we calculated that the average student uses 13,951 gallons per year to shower. Now our study also showed that the average student would be willing to invest in a high efficiency shower head if they knew how much money would save them. So we looked at the high Sierra shower head, which is rated at 1.5 gallons per minute, and we saw that it saved us about 40% of the water we use every year. Any questions? Yeah, uh, I don't really care about how much water I'm saving. How much is it going to cost? That's a great question. So let's first look into upstream costs. To look at upstream costs, we look at two water heaters that heat up our shower water. Most hot water heaters heat up our water by 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and it works at 67% efficiency. Now, one BTU is the amount of energy to raise one pound of water by one degree Fahrenheit. So using this information, we calculated that it takes around 746 BTUs to heat up one gallon of water. In Ann Arbor, DG charges roughly 14 cents per kilowatt hour. And doing a conversion and using the amount of energy to heat up one gallon of water, we calculate that it takes around 3 cents to heat up one gallon of water. In Ann Arbor, the cost of water is for all right under $6 per unit. And doing another conversion, one gallon of water costs 0.8 cents. Now combining this cost here and this cost here, it will cost 4 cents for one gallon of heated water. So if we multiply the amount of energy to heat up one gallon of water and the cost for one gallon of heated water by the amount of gallons one student uses in a year, we can calculate our upstream cost totals, which are 10.4 million BTUs per year and $541 per year. Now we will repeat the same process with the efficient shower head, and we'll get uh, and we have different upstream cost totals, which are 6.2 million BTUs per year and roughly $325 per year. Now we'll look into midstream costs. The standard shower head costs around $10. An efficient shower head costs around $40. The tools required to install the shower heads cost around $18. So the final midstream cost is $28 for standard and around $58 for deficient. But most of my water bill comes from sewage costs. So where does that come from? Now to determine the downstream cost, we're going to analyze the cost of treated water, which comes in the form of your wastewater bill, which is part of the water bill. So Ann Arbor charges $4.58. As a service fee per 100 cubic feet, 100 cubic feet is 748 gallons, and since each student per year uses 13,951 and some change gallons, the total cost is 85.42 per year. They also charge a customer charge of 11.25 per quarter, and there's four quarters in a year, and that adds an additional $45 per year. So the total cost for the standard shower head is $130.42 per year per student. Okay, now for the energy efficient shower head, the calculations are all the same except every student uses 8,370.67 gallons per year, which is a little bit less. So their cost for the service fee comes to 51.25 per year, and the customer charge stays exactly the same. So their total cost per year per student is $96.25. Now we're going to look at the downstream cost in terms of energy. So the Ann Arbor Wastewater Treatment Plant needs 16 gigajoules for a million gallons treated, and we said that for a standard shower head, a student will use just about 14,000 gallons per year, and that is equal to 0.22 gigajoules per year. Converting that from gigajoules to kilojoules, and then from kilojoules to BTU, we see that one student will need just over 208,000 BTUs per year. For the energy efficient shower head, the calculations are exactly the same, except we said that a student would use 8,370 gallons per year. Converting that one more time, we see that a student will need 120,222 BTUs per year. Another potential downstream cost would be the cost of treating the water in terms of energy. So this would normally come out in terms of taxes because wastewater treatment plants are heavily subsidized, but the Ann Arbor Wastewater Treatment Plant costs 7 cents per kilowatt hour to treat water. 
for 3,412 BTUs in one kilowatt hour. And for the standard shower head, the student will use just over 280,000 BTUs per year. That adds up to just 428 per year. For the efficient shower head, it's the same calculations, but students only need about 123,000 BTUs per year, so they would be charged 253 per year. Okay, that was a lot of information. What do I really need to know? A little quick recap on the comparison between the standard shower head and the efficient shower head. So in cost in dollars, it's $703 when you use the standard shower head, whereas it's $481 when you use the efficient shower head. On energy and BTUs per year, you're at 10.6 million with the standard shower head, whereas you're at 6.4 million with the efficient shower head. And finally, looking at the environmental impact, we're at almost 14,000 gallons per year with the standard shower head and at about 8,300 gallons per year with the efficient shower head. This is all per student. Now, in comparison, what that looks like is about $222 per year per student, which comes out to be 41 $5 hot and ready pizzas, or about 50% of a textbook. Now, if we want to look at the energy impact, we did a quick calculation to compare the BTUs per year per student to the greater U of M campus, and then we converted that to C. It's about 5,400 kilowatt hours per hour of a game at the big house. Doing that conversion, we found that the amount of energy saved would be enough to power 3,436 games at the big house per year. Finally, looking at gallons per student, going off of the food topic we love so much, in two liters, two liters conversion is about 10,562 two liters per student per year.